I wanted to do a video today on marketing. There are lots of videos out there that talk about selling your products and getting into the laser uh, engraving, laser cutting business, but I haven't found any that talk about marketing. And uh, before anything else, if I do this as a hobby now, but I also have a business that I started over a year ago that uh, I'm not involved in that I have somebody run for me and that that business just keeps getting larger all the time but uh, if you're thinking about getting into business um, the first thing I want to talk about before the marketing is you know are you the type of person that can be in business uh, are you able to delegate things to other people uh, are you a failure <laughs> And, that, and everybody's probably saying, what? What do you mean am I a failure? Well, I am a failure. So uh, people that are good at business are usually failures. You can look at, you know, anybody, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Isaac Newton, Alexander Graham Bell, Walt Disney, uh, Winston Churchill, just about anybody <laughs> that's really successful. Uh, they didn't just step into it say hey I want to start a business and became successful they started and they failed over and over and over again and you've got to do that in this business uh, even if it's product wise marketing wise so you may think that you have the greatest product in the world but um, other people may not think so so you got to be prepared for that you got to be prepared to fail with the products that you make and you have to be ready to uh, improvise, create something different, create different marketing. And marketing is really going to be the key. And that's why I wanted to do this video today. So um, most people can produce really nice products on their laser once they get the knack of it, once they get the hang of it, once they've watched videos and they've gone through the learning curve and they've found the right materials and they've found the right products and they just can't seem to get them to sell and that's what I want to talk about today so uh, I've done some videos in the past when I first started my channel uh, I started selling on marketplace to pay for everything to pay for all of the supplies and to pay for uh, this hobby so uh, every hobby that I've ever had if I can't pay for it with what I produce by selling some things to people then uh, it hasn't been a great hobby for me and I'll move on to something else or I'll just do it on the side. Well this hobby has more than paid for itself and even though my investment in everything right now uh, I am still not in the black but uh, eventually I will be and I'm retired now so this is uh, you know really just a hobby for me but a year ago when I started doing all this or actually it's two years ago I should say Two years ago when I started doing all this, um, you know, it was really all about marketing. And that's what I spent my time learning. And I watched different videos and I did my research on marketing. And I came to find out that uh, probably 70% of the sale is going to come from your ad and how you word it. And I have a favorite story that I tell people uh, about a video that I did a while back on uh, coasters and I sell four custom coasters or I did sell for eighty dollars and everyone says oh that's an incredibly high price you know uh, I could never get eighty dollars in my marketplace well you know what you could and I was selling these on Facebook marketplace and I'll throw up a copy of my text file that I used for the ad that I would run I would copy and paste right from the text file. So uh, let's talk about the ad and how did I get $80 for these coasters? One was taking good pictures of them uh, and number two was describing them properly and making sure that people understood that it's not just like buying four coasters for $4 you know over at the dollar store. So let's talk about the ad a little bit. So the title is super important and the title on my four slate coasters was 100% locally made handcrafted custom slate coasters must see in capital letters and 
the ad itself had all kinds of buzzwords, keywords, usage words in it so that people would understand better the product that I'm selling. And take a minute and, and listen to, this is a long ad, and a lot of people are going to say, well, they're not going to read that whole ad. But trust me, people do. Because when I first started selling them, I just had a regular ad like anybody would put up, and I wasn't able to sell any. And the way I did this was I would put the ad up on a Friday night. I'd order the coasters from a, a guy I knew in Texas. I got them for a dollar a piece, a box of 80 of them. I put them up. Uh, that box would be here by Friday. I'd put the ad up on Friday. I'd get my orders. Sometimes within five or six hours, I would have to take down the ad because I'd contacted so many people by messenger. I only sold them locally, just locally. And I would have to take the ad down five or six hours after I put it up because I've used up my supply for that week, which was um, a, a box of 80. So, um, and really, you know, I got, I, I limited, limited myself to uh, 10 orders. So uh, that's really 40. So the box would last me two weeks. So I would do 10 orders. Now, let's talk about the ad itself. In the ad itself, it says, and again, I have that copy up here on the screen. Handcrafted, professional quality, locally produced, real natural slate drink coasters. Three custom revisions of artwork and local delivery included. So now I emailed these people after this and I explained to them that on Friday night, uh, here's the web page that you go to. And I had, uh, actually it was a, a Google Drive with pictures. And they went to that Google Drive and they picked out the style that they wanted. And I had five or six different styles up there on in, in that uh, Google Drive that they could look at. And, you know, number one, number two, three, four. So uh, three customer visions. Locally sourced Texas Black Pearl Slate. Handcrafted, made right here in New Orleans by me. Sealed and protected with a non-slip wax. Warranted for life. Mine are yours with a little smiley face should they feel uh, fade or peel I'll refinish them for free as long as you own them it's good to have a little a little uh, smile in there and it's also good to let them know that you stand behind your work and then I go, go on and give them some ideas in the ad too and if a person has read this far they're going to keep reading give your home or business a touch of elegance with these wonderful engraved black pearl coasters made of natural stone here in neighboring Texas You'll get a high-end, elegant coasters that are non-toxic and odorless. A memorable housewarming gift idea. And then a great practical and useful gift for a housewarming party. A great housewarming birthday or holiday gift for anyone young or old. You tell me the design you want from my catalog. And again, I only gave them a small number of choices. Five different choices. So to continue with the ad, suitable size and easy to clean. Coaster diameter is four inches, suitable for all glasses, mugs, or cups. Easy to clean, more convenient than silicone or coke coasters. coasters. Just rinse it with water to clean. A great housewarming birthday or holiday gift for anyone young or old. And then you want to know what's in the package. Eight custom design slate coasters. And I'm repeating myself in here. One iron holder to add a rustic touch to your home. Price, $80 complete and includes local delivery. Less than just the setup fee anywhere else. And then probably the most important thing, a lot of people wanted to call or text about this. So I put in Facebook Marketplace, you can't put a phone number, they'll just blank it out. Nobody can see it. Everybody puts it in there, call nothing. Because <laughs> Facebook takes it out. So, you know, uh, spell out your phone number call or text the word five number zero the word four so so on and so on you have to alternate back and forth so you fool the Facebook marketplace and there is a phone number for them to contact you I made more sales by phone and text than I did from people messaging me online so I may get I may have gotten one or two um, you know messages in Facebook Messenger and then I would have, you know, eight, nine, ten orders that would come in through text or phone calls 
And it's very important that they're able to reach you that way on Marketplace. Now, I sold locally, and I would make these on Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes even Monday, depending on when the person would get back to me and uh, let me know what design that they wanted. And um, then I would just create like a little map of where all these people were, deliver them on Wednesday. And I did that every week. So what did it cost me? Uh, the profit, which, which, what would you expect to make with something like that? So my, my eight co coasters cost me, uh, I'd say $15. They only cost me $8, but uh, I have more things in there like time and uh, I also have the, uh, the sealant that I put on them, you know, things like that. So I sell them for 80, I sold them for $80 a piece. That's $65 profit, $650 a weekend. This was working part time, doing other things while other coaster jobs were running. And I ran multiple lasers. I had three different diode lasers running at the same time with a template down on the bed, running eight coasters at a time. So uh, what does that work out to be? $2,600 per week, uh, per month. And uh, that's, you know, that's a pretty good profit for a little part-time gig in your retirement. Now, I have a friend uh, in California that took this particular ad and he wasn't selling anything. And he was trying Facebook Marketplace. It didn't work for him. So I emailed him this ad and he took this ad and reworded everything to match the products that he had. And he was overwhelmed by the orders. So marketing is key. And it doesn't matter if you're on Facebook Marketplace. It doesn't matter if you're on Etsy. It doesn't matter if you have your own website. You know, it doesn't matter at all. This applies to everything. It doesn't have to be as wordy as I've got here, but I wanted to cover the key points and make sure people know that they were locally sourced, locally made. Uh, you know, you can put things like made in the USA, handcrafted in the USA, things like that, buzzwords that catch people's eye. Uh, and it doesn't matter where you're selling. It's all, the key is all in the marketing. And uh, that person in California became a top tier patron of mine uh, be just because of that one ad and how it ch completely changed his wannabe part-time business into a full-time business. So just knowing the marketing, he went from no business at all maybe selling one or two things every week or two to all of a sudden full-time now he is retired as well he wanted to get into something part-time he went part-time and before long he went full-time and he's happier than than you know you can imagine working full-time and now he's cut back on the amount of advertising that he's doing and he's only doing facebook marketplace and i believe he finally set up his own uh, website but I'm not absolutely sure but anyway uh, you need to have products that sell and you don't want to have things like this so uh, yeah I know that uh, you know I showed you how to make this in the laser makers realm and but these are more personal products so uh, you can't take and do something like something like this <laughs> and expect to make money doing it it's, it's just not going to happen because, you know, this is five layers that need to be painted, need to be assembled. You need to brand the back. You need to uh, finish them all. This is not going to make you any money. Now, you can sell something like that for $150, but you can make more money on smaller products. Now, I have another friend, similar, also in California that uh let me get to his information over here because he has uh five products so uh well yes uh let's see that's the wrong one he has keychains he does craft shows keychains coasters shadow boxes bamboo cooking utensils and cutting boards and he buys uh, most of these things and just engraves them so if you're gonna do something like like what I teach you to do the fun stuff like this do it in a flat pack and here is a flat pack right here 
the beauty of this is that you just engrave and cut it out, drop it into the envelope, mail it off. So uh, you can do flat packs all day long. That's maybe a, a dollar, a dollar twenty-five piece of wood. You sell the flat pack for fourteen dollars. It costs you four dollars to ship. You have a ten dollar profit. So uh, <laughs> you know you could do things like that and make a ten dollar profit. And um, you know whatever you cut out, you want to make sure to maximize your profits. You want to make sure you save the old pieces. I save all of my old scraps. This is scraps from this over here. You see the, the stars cut out? So I saved the stars because I'll be able to use these stars on another project. This piece of wood, I'll be able to use this piece of wood. This extra piece of wood here, I'll use for earrings. Uh, you know, so there, save all of your scraps so that you can maximize your profits and you can produce things that literally cost you nothing because you've already made your profit from let's say the flat pack on that piece of wood so the wood that's left over from there if you did some earrings or something like that that's all free it doesn't cost you anything so um, let, let's talk about your time what's your time worth and what should you price your items at price them as high as you can uh, as high as you think your market will bear and you know, the higher the price, the more quality the customer is expecting to get. A lot of people shop price and they don't shop it the way that you think. When they're looking for handcrafted, handmade items, they're not looking for the cheapest price. If they're looking for a file on Etsy or something like that, they may be looking for the cheapest price. But uh, if your files are much better than other people's, you want to charge a higher price for it just like your products charge a higher price for it um, don't price yourself Etsy is a race to the bottom as far as pricing goes and profit goes people just want to sell and they would rather sell a hundred items at a dollar profit than you know ten dollar uh, ten items at uh, uh, a ten dollar profit so uh, look for the profit margin in the items that you're making and the reason why I talked about the slate coasters earlier is because you can get them you don't have to source them from a manufacturer like I did in Texas you can go to Michaels um, you could go to Hobby Lobby and get them for about the same price that I paid about a dollar a dollar twenty five a piece and you can make your own holder for them out of wood um, and you can, if, as long as you do a quality product, you can get a high price for it. And I'm telling you folks that marketing is the key. So if you have a quality ad and a quality product, you're going to be able to sell it. So uh, every other video that I've seen out there talks about, uh, you know, how you can make $100,000 a year. Can you do that? yeah you can do it <laughs> there's no no question about that you can make a hundred thousand dollars a year you can step into something when i was selling my coasters i uh, inadvertently placed one of my ads just normally instead of locally and i had somebody from utah that had an amazon store that contacted me about making products for them and since then i've had uh, he's hooked me up with a couple of other people that have amazon stores and we oem brand uh i i actually started a little factory not far from here and i have several people that work there and we produce all of their products all their handmade products that they sell on amazon and i'll give you an example uh, we have one sign three foot by six inches tall it's a whitewash board that's distressed and it says one word on it it says coffee it sells all day long for twenty nine dollars on amazon uh... and it's branded with the company's name on the back and we do quite a few of these a day uh... we get one by six by i gotta look at my notes here <laughs> one by six by sixteen inch boards you can get those for twenty dollars at lowe's i've sourced them locally uh... from a man that cuts them to size and delivers them uh, he's a sawyer with a sawmill 
we get them for $10 a piece, which produces five signs. Then we have a one foot cutoff that we use for another product, so there's no waste there. Uh, those signs sell for $29. That's $145 profit on every board. So less the $15 that goes to the shop costs, including the uh, product and the whitewash and all that kind of stuff, the labor. Turns out to be uh, uh, about $115 profit for each one by six by 16. So that's a high profit item right there. That's just one of the items that we do for Amazon stores. That we do about 25 of those a day for that one seller. And that works out to a little over $200,000 a year gross. So that's just one item. So can you make a lot of money doing this? You can. Now, of course, that $200,000, we only get a split of that. So, you know, our profit is uh, closer to about the $80,000 a year uh, range on that particular item. But we do about 19 items for different Amazon sellers over at the other shop. And uh, I, I no longer am involved in any of that. Uh, I go in once a week. I do the accounting. Uh, I send that over to the accountant once a month. And that's, that's about all, that, all of my involvement now, including maybe some sourcing from time to time for different materials and some hiring. Uh, if somebody leaves, I've only had one person that I've had to replace. We've added three new people to the shop over there. Um, and it's just been a constant, steady growth. And now that shop is doing all wholesale goods. And I'm just doing uh, my thing. My hobby now is more YouTube and lasers because I make things for, you know, family and friends and stuff like that and show you how I do it while I go. But these items are not necessarily the ones that I show you on my channel. Not necessarily big money makers. Uh, especially when they take so much time to do. You want to find something that's quick and easy. This is a quick and easy project that, you know, you can do this very quickly, make $10 a piece, sell a bunch of them, put ads up. You know, that, that's something that you want to do maybe for an Etsy store or an online store or something like that. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you keep your price that you charge in line with what it costs you to make it and make sure that your time is paid as well so you'd have to sell an awful lot of these at you know 14 or 15 dollars a piece in flat packs in order to make a, a decent living out of it but you could have one laser that's dedicated to that and then have another laser most people that get into this hobby wind up with two or three lasers anyway so you can have one of them running small items like this and flat packs and flat packs are a lot of fun for the kids uh, and they sell very well if you want to sell these online um, so that's about it I wanted to talk today about marketing and how you should place a professional ad the key to marketing is the verbiage in your ad as well as the photos that you use to advertise it and if you get those two pieces right and if you find items that sell well hey jump on amazon and go to the search box and type in there handmade and you will be shocked at the thousands and thousands of items if you need ideas go do that because there'll be tens of thousands of items that you can look through and you can say, oh, I can make that. Oh, I can make that. Look for something that you can make cheaply. Uh, uh, I have another friend of mine out on the West Coast that does these little oak keychains. Now, not this particular one. This one comes like this from the supplier. But it's about twice as long. Made out of oak. Made out of three millimeter oak. Three different layers. And he puts, he cuts out the name. Four different layers, excuse me. He cuts out the person's name and he's got every name you can imagine he brings them to craft shows he's got them on a, a little display rack and the top layer is the cutout the next layer is painted the color and then the other side is the opposite cut cut out with the layer below painted the color so uh, you know the name is in a different color from the wood and 
he just makes a ton. He sells them for nineteen dollars a piece and makes a ton of money on them. And it costs him maybe a dollar fifty with the hardware and all to make these. So, um, you know that there are all kinds of ideas. Go to Amazon, search in there, handmade, handcrafted, or handmade wood, or something like that. And it doesn't have to be wood. It can be you know acrylic leather. You could do leather patches, all kinds of things. But that's where you'll get your ideas. There'll be thousands and thousands of ideas in there for you to choose from. So uh, anyway, remember the two things. The two keys to making money with a laser engraver or cutter is going to be the ad that you use, the photographs that you use, and that's really going to sell the products for you no matter where you sell them. So this wasn't a video on how to sell them. This was a video on how to make sales when you're listing them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some information out of it. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.